Hello, this is Dr. Gay from First Look MRI, and this is a short video on a patient with dorsal wrist pain, swelling, and it looks like she has rheumatoid arthritis probably and tenous synovitis. So really it's a quick video of anatomy and tenous synovitis. So tenous synovitis is just a fluid in the tendon sheath. Tendons usually look normal, and we can see here along the dorsal aspect of the wrist, we see a little bit of fluid in tendon sheath, so we're like, oh, this is it. they got tenous synovitis, I guess. There's no tendon tear. No history of trauma. The tendons themselves look nice and dark, but there's just a little bit of fluid. So it's a really mild case. Sometimes it can be really distended. So now we have to um, have a good dictation and say, well, what are these ones? Uh, maybe good enough just to say some fluid in the tendon. She's dorsally compatible with tenous synovitis, but we're going to do a little bit better than that. So we're going to come back to the radius and ulna to get our bearing straight. This is the radial side. Here's that first compartment. And so now we're going to name these things. Uh, at least from here to here. So along the very uh, radial margin here, we have this first compartment. There's two that kind of look like one glob. One is the adductor pollicis longus and then the extensor pollicis brevis. And to try to keep this straight, and it's very hard, I think about the long brevis, longus, brevis, longus. So they kind of go back and forth and back and forth. And then we're getting to the extensor digitorum and the extensor indices over here. And the extensor carpi ulnaris is over here. So but remember, long, brevis, longus, brevis, longus. And that'll help a little bit. So at the level of the radius, the abductor pollicis longus, the extensor pollicis brevis, the extensor carpi radialis longus, extensor carpi radialis brevis, and over here, the extensor pollicis longus. So the fluid here is within the extensor carpi radialis longus and brevis, and also in the extensor pollicis longus. And just to quickly recap, the extensor digitorum, and the little one by itself here, the extensor indices. And this is pretty straightforward because the extensor carpi ulnaris. Now to make sense of this, well, this makes sense. Extensor carpi ulnaris, indices makes sense. Extensor digitorum makes sense. These ones get a little bit confusing. But to keep it straight, I think about there's two here together, and it's pretty straightforward. These are the extensor carpi radialis tendons. And again, you make it confuse which is the longest and brevis, but if you think about lo uh, longest brevis, longest brevis, that'll help. And then think about the extensor pollicis has two extensor tendons. So if you know what these are, and you know there has to be two extensor tendons, the next thing is to know which one is the longest and brevis. So we know longest brevis, this is brevis, and we know this is going to be a longus, so this has to be the longus, extensor pollicis longus, and this has to be extensor pollicis brevis. So let's follow those across. The muscle is here, muscular tendons junction, and there's the tendon going sideways over the top. That's the longus, extensor pollicis longus. It's going to come over here. And now if we look over here, here's the brevis right there, that little one. And they're going to converge together. Here's this one, this one. They're going to converge, converge into the thumb. Here they're getting closer and closer. And they scoot them over, and now we're as far as we go. But hopefully that helps with the anatomy. It's just a bread and butter case of tenus syndivitis. Looks like rheumatoid arthritis. And thank you very much.